You Egyptians out there will love sure. this painting. <laughs> Next time you paint the Pyramid of Giza. <laughs> <laughs> What is up, everybody? Today we're talking about a great product, Latitude. Latitude. It's not longitude, it's Latitude. And this product, unlike Alan, is flexible. <laughs> yeah, very true. <laughs> very much so unlike me. Yeah, very flexible. Not actually like an Elastomeric, a different kind of flexibility. <laughs> we're not talking about flexibility in like an Elastomeric sort of elastic waistband, uh, sweatpant sort of way. We're talking about it in the sense that this paint is a hot or cold product. Temperature. Right? You don't want a lukewarm paint. No. You want a paint that can ride with you when it's 35 degrees outside and, and a paint that's good when it's 120 and you're painting, you know. In the heat. In the Sahara Desert. In the Sahara. Yeah. You Egyptians out there will love sure. this paint. <laughs> Next time you paint the Pyramid of Giza or whatever. <laughs> All the houses in the middle of the Sahara Desert. They need painted. Very nearby, they have houses. <laughs> There's See a city that? right there. Yeah. Okay. Well, for those customers. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness. If you live in Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what is the comparable to hell in the United States? <laughs> oh, Phoenix, Tucson. Arizona. Tucson. Tucson. <laughs> um, yeah, Actually, so Bullhead if, City. I've been, <laughs> been there. It's hot. No, I mean, if you live in, in Arizona, any one of those three cities, uh, this is the paint for you. Yeah. No, in all seriousness, no, most paints don't do a good job when it's hot. <laughs> they don't at all. When it's hot, they'll clump up. Uh, they can even get like starting to get stuck in inside of your spray rig and stuff because even in the can, in, in the bucket itself, it doesn't give you a lot but of all, working time. The paint time. also fails. So a lot of paints, yeah. if you apply it when it's too hot outside, the paint mm -hmm. could fail, meaning you're going to have a warranty problem. Yep. Um, also, if it's too cold. So yeah. this is a paint that's great if it's really cold, mm -hmm. really hot. Uh, this is, a, is yeah. a good paint. Or if it's going to rain. Yeah. And with all that and all that climate change that's going on out there. Uh, see, I'm not a denier. You, yeah. You believe in it? I, I believe in it. That's why I have latitude here. Mm. I'm not a denier, it's good. And all that climate change that's going on out there. It's really important to have paints like this available. Yeah. So you're going to be polar bears in Texas. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Oh, man. When you're riding your polar bear to work and you need a good paint, uh, a lot of latitude. Whether it's cold or it's hot, you can still paint your house. Did you know? I learned this on the, the Joe Rogan podcast. What's that? That the Sahara Desert used to be a jungle. And they turned what into a desert. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's that's interesting. If you but dig in the sand, eventually be, you find. Can I be honest with you, real quick though? Yes. The fact that you said you've heard it on a Joe Rogan podcast kind of makes me think like that's probably not true. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. <laughs>